Another relatively new advance in heart surgery being used at our hospital is known as transcatheter aortic valve implantation, or TAVI for short. TAVI is a minimally invasive surgical technique for replacing damaged or diseased aortic valves. It's less invasive than conventional open heart surgery and can even be used to treat patients unable to undergo the conventional surgery due to advanced age, poor physical health, or other complications. At LHSC, TAVI is supported through donor dollars. Dr. Bob Kiai is directly involved in many of the other cardiac, in many of the cardiac surgery program successes at LHSC. He's here with us today to tell us more about TAVI and how by supporting this procedure, donors are having a tremendous positive impact on our patients. Dr. Kiai is an associate professor in the Department of Surgery at the School, Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Western Ontario. He is a cardiac surgeon and director of the minim Minimally Invasive Robotic Cardiac Surgery Program in the Division of Cardiac Surgery at London Health Sciences Centre. He is also an active scientist at CSTAR, London Health Sciences Centre Program for Minimally Invasive and Robotic Assisted Surgery Development and Training. Dr. Kiai. Thank you very much, Lisa. Um, uh, I want to first of all thank the Foundation for organizing uh, this particular event. It's an honor and absolute privilege for me to be able to come here and share with you the successes we've had uh, with the support of Foundation and thank every each individual who's here for their support and their donation that allows us to be able to deliver such care. Um, one of the things that um, I'm going to concentrate on today is the procedure that was discussed uh, that was named is called transcatheter aortic valve intervention. Um, I'm just going to start going through my slides here. So as it was mentioned, TAVI stands for transcatheter aortic valve intervention. And I just want to bring to people's attention that this is an alternative therapy for aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis is a, is a narrowing of the aortic valve, which is the main valve, the main gateway that allows the blood to leave the heart towards the rest of the body. So this is a normal aortic valve. It opens up completely, allows blood to be able to leave the heart without any resistance and it's basically got normally three cusps, or what we call three, you can say, doors, that opens up with each heart that allows blood to leave the heart. What happens over the years is as we basically undergo degeneration of the valve, valve undergoes development of calcium on each of these particular cusps that makes this very, very restricted to motion. So in other words, it's not opening properly. So hence, this opening that you see here is nice and wide, becomes extremely narrowed, and hence causes what we call aortic stenosis, narrowing of the aortic valve. And this narrowing, as you can see here, is a significant problem because the natural course is continues to get worse and worse and worse to the point that individuals develop significant shortness of breath and are not able to perform the regular activities. The, the conventional treatment, the standard treatment for this is open heart surgery where we replace the aortic valve. Percutaneous aortic replacement, which is a transcatheter replacement, are fo focuses on patients. There's a group of patients based on their other characteristics are not considered patients to be undergoing this procedure because of the high risk nature of the surgery. So they were considered inoperable. And these patients unfortunately had no other really alternative treatment measures that we could offer them. And hence, there's no medicines that could go on and the condition would continue to worsen and worsen and worsen until it would result in their demise. And hence, it was a very, very difficult for us healthcare practitioners that we didn't have any other modalities to be able to treat these patients. Therefore, with the kind of um, invention of this method by which the valve can be replaced using a catheter, we're able now to offer this procedure to individuals who are not candidates of such operation. In Ontario, it's not approved yet by Ontario Healthcare. It's approved via special access. We write to the government with specific permission to use this technology, but however, the government does not fund it to us. Therefore, we have a group of people whom we're gonna meet one today, was really, really uh, a selected individual to be able to basically benefit from such technology. And it was only with the help of foundation help of people yourself, so we were able to get the funding required to be able to basically have access to such product. So again, the only way we were able to get access to such procedure, to such device, is through the help of philanthropy, through the help of individuals like yourself, that were able to give us the opportunity to be involved with this. 
Uh, the very first patient we did this procedure on is a lady who's right in the audience. Um, this uh, uh, Mrs. Keynes was uh, diagnosed with a narrowed valve, and at that time we didn't know there was any contraindications to her health because she's a very healthy individual. Uh, so we actually embarked on our operation using conventional uh, open heart technique. We went to the operating room, but then when we basically opened her chest, it became evident that the calcium deposit on her valve was all over, and her entire artery had calcium on it. If we were going to perform this operation using conventional techniques that we had, which is the standard treatment, there was a very, very high chance she would have had a stroke. So we abandoned the operation. We closed her and uh, told her that if we would have proceeded with the operation, we would have done her probably more harm than good, and hence we were awaiting to be able to get access to this technology. Uh, about three years ago, we got access to this technology, and we were able to offer this procedure again with your help to Mrs. Keynes, and I asked Mrs. Keynes to come up because I would like to ask her some questions about what of a difference did this procedure make to overall to our quality of life. Can you go ahead, Mrs. King, tell us about yourself and how you felt prior to undergoing this procedure? Yes, I'm Mrs. Keynes, and I guess at first it wasn't, I don't know what to say about that. It was hard walking just across the road to go to the store. So it just got worse, and uh, I guess I got a chance to go to the hospital and have the open heart surgery and uh, it didn't work, so I had to wait. And I had to go to Vancouver. So it waited for a while, and then I got a call one day from Dr. Kiai's office if I could just come in for a little meeting. Well, I started to shake. <laughs> As I knew what he was up to, so. Anyway, I went in, the brave person I am, and uh, I didn't have to go to Vancouver, so I was booked for this one here in London, and it was great. I was ready to go home from Thursday till Tuesday, and they wouldn't let me go any sooner, so here I had to wait. But I'm doing good. Uh, I'm just traveling all over the world. I'm going to the Bahamas next week, and then uh, maybe next spring I'll start again. It's just been it's just been great being alive and be able to do all these things. I can't think of anything better to say. So I I just love this man. <laughs> <laughs>